chop block was blocked with their left hand. You taught me why that is. Yeah, most people shoot with the right hand. Yeah. David Robinson, Bill Russell, who certainly was a star. John Thompson used to be his caddy, his backup with the Boston Celtics. John credits so much of the knowledge he has of the game. The one old red arm back, the father of the NBA. I was teasing people, they said, John, John's going to get ahead of all the way of people nervous. I said, John's leaving. He's coming here to New York. He's going to take the Knicks. And then he's going to go out and he's going to sign as a free agent on the morning, a free agent Matumbo. He's going to get out of the league early. He's going to get Reggie Williams. And they're going to line up with Matumbo, Ewing, and Morning up front. They're going to line up with Iverson and Reggie Williams in the back court. For those of you just joining us, <laughs> Dick just thinking ahead a little bit. It's 32-32 here with seven minutes left in the half. No truth to it at all. <laughs> we did have a long list of names this morning in the newspaper about the uh, possible successes for that next job, and John was mentioned. Sheffler, baseline. See, Sheffler becomes like the second guard when Moore is on the floor and he utilizes shooting ability and convert that time. Push on John underneath as Travis Knight was working for a rebound, got him in the back from John. You know, one thing about John, if he comes to an NBA team as a coach, I guarantee you, he's president, general manager, coach, and you name it, and maybe older as well. Jerome <laughs> Williams will check back in. Yaya Ja will go back to the bench. They have really utilized their bench a lot better. George Kahn getting to know each other. I think the reason they're a better team now is they finally have really accepted the quickness and speed of Iverson and his ability, and they've learned how to play around it and with it. You've got a guy as talented as him on the outside. You can't still use that inside game that was so successful for so many years with some of those guys you mentioned like here in the morning in the combo and the company. It's a different look now. Iverson, for Williams, Jerome, Mr. Junker, and Othello keeps it alive. Page to three. Yes! Thank you, Othello! Thank you, Othello! And he points the victory. It's a nice play, mister! Ray Allen for the three on the other end. Uh, he has been a long rebound, but rejected by Harrington. And a battle underneath, no call. Ball comes out to Hayward. Oh, what a nice pass. What a nice pass by Hayward. Perfect pass. If he throws the your ball pass, they deflect it. He uses the bounce pass inside. Good interior passing by Hayward to his teammate Knight. Travis Knight has 10 points. And the officials let him play underneath. I'll tell you, physical. No place for the weak and meek inside. Great kick by Othello Harrington, but Iverson missed the three. Knight another rebound. Knight's going to have another double rebound night. Oh, shoot it. Shoot it. And there he is. Shoot him. He can make that shot. He's got his family here tonight, his brothers and his folks. Oh, look at that fellow running the court. Shepard with a foul. See, Travis Knight is part of that new system in the 90s of the big people that can step out, screen, and make the open jump shot. A lot of guys like the NBA now who utilize that ability. Travis gets a breather. And I'll tell Harrington will go to the free throw line. We talked about yesterday the only thing missing from the resume of Jim Calhoun is a trip to the Final Four. They've come close twice in 1990. Beaten by an unbelievable shot by Christian Leitner. And then in 1995, yesterday, beaten by UCLA in that shootout you talked about. It was 102 to 96. They got more wins after last night's victory than anybody else in the country over the course of the last three years. 28 and 5 last year, 29 and 2 coming into this one. And that other team up at Amherst over in New England certainly posted a lot of wins. Congratulations on winning the. Atlantic 10 Championship being a good temple team, Massachusetts. And by the way, as I announced this afternoon, both clubs have agreed they will play. Now see Connecticut will play starting next year. You've been lobbying for that thing for about 10 years. I know. I'm so happy to hear they finally agreed that they'll make it happen. Just over five to play in the half. Ray Allen works for a shot but picks it out to his buddy Sheffer who comes right back to Allen for the jumper. And Jahani White clears everybody out of the way. Nice does a solid job. He's a to see Ray Allen do a little bit more driving to the basket and utilize his quickness in his first step. He becomes too jump shot oriented. So with Jim Calhoun, he says he'd go to the free throw line a lot more if he was a little more aggressive toward the hole. He has a tendency to want to shoot the jump shot. As many in a row as I saw him hit warm up before the game, I don't blame him. He must have hit 12 in a row from three point range. Hey, Dr. Glass. I'm going to pick it up. 
where he was last night when he hit 34 and a boy. 